Uh, the Royal College of Emergency Medicine of Scotland have been quite clear that these long waits in A&E can result in deaths and harm, as Ros McCall has just highlighted. So has he done an assessment about the impact in Fife of these long waits? 360 people waited over four hours in the last week of January. 50 waited over eight hours. So Cabinet Secretary. Cabinet Secretary. Yeah, I, I, can I say to him that I don't disagree with the premise of his question. And I know it's something that the Royal College of Emergency Medicine have raised too, that excessively long waits in our A&E uh, means that patients will come to harm. That's why we're focused on reducing. I mentioned uh, not insignificant reductions in both 12-hour and 8-hour waits, specifically in five. So it's where our f focus is, it's where our target is. I agree with Alex Rowley. The focus from us has to be relentlessly on social care to get the discharges out of the hospital, help with flow through the hospital. But we're still seeing uh, challenges. People are still presenting with higher acuity. Uh, we are still seeing the challenges that we know social care faces. And I'll continue to work with the sector to try to find solutions.